sheriff spokesman says it appears the toddler was drowned by the alligator. The boy's body found about 10 to 15 yards from the shore. Our Amanda Valdez talked with an expert on alligator behavior. She joins us live at the Charles Paddock Zoo in Atascadero with more. Amanda? Scott, Zoo Director Alan Baker says the chances of something like this happening are very unlikely. He says usually alligators prey on things like raccoons or small deer, but not on people. How often do you hear about an attack like this? It's really, really extremely rare. Director Alan Baker at the Charles Paddock Zoo in Atascadero says what happened in Orlando is rare. They're not really interested in people. People aren't part of their diet. Alligators don't prey on people for the most part. Baker says alligators usually prey on small items like raccoons or small deer. They don't bother bigger things because they're just too much trouble. So maybe it mistook, you know, a little kid splashing in the water as, you know, a prey item. For visitors at the zoo wanting to see an alligator, they can find Wally in an enclosed area behind a window at the alligator corner. Baker says alligators can move fast, but for the most part, they sit back and observe their prey until they're ready to attack. Alligators that are problematic are taken out of an area, but the problem is, is if that's a good area where there's a lot of food and there's a lot of things for alligators to eat, sooner or later, another alligator is going to move back in. Florida officials say while alligators are common in the state, a fatal attack by one rarely happens. Just think of how many people go to Disney World like every day, and when was the last time you heard about someone getting grabbed by an alligator. And there are signs reading no swimming at the lagoon where the attack happened. A baker tells us if you're faced with a similar situation, the best bet is to try to fight off the alligator or hold on to something that might help pull you away from it. In Atascadero, I'm Amanda Valdez at KCOY 12 Central Coast News. Amanda, thank you.